person sees all. So since this is not uh, space-related, that's why I was going to put it up on the member side. Got some people saying, why on the member side? Become a member, you'll find out. Jeez. <laughs> I spoil everyone here. The member side, this side, actually the members spoil me more than I spoil them, that's for sure. But there's the bug. Golden and uh, uh, almost like brass-looking color to this and wait till I show you the top. It's literally like a gold ring, okay? I was having a hard time with the light inside to be able to show it to you. It was in a Ziploc bag once it woke up when I touched it. You're gonna see me squeeze it at one point, but first I want to go to the hooks that are on it. Let's get a little closer if we can, try to get a, a better shot of it. And you can see right there at the bottom, a hook, incredible hook. Uh, at the end of its its claws, it's got claws, like a hook at the end, right? And, um, well, listen, just check it out. At one point, I'm going to touch it, and when I let go, it wakes up. But I want you to see the gold color. I don't get it, guys. It looks metallic. See the color on it? It's got gold and brass colors on it. And you can't squish it either. It's hard as a rock, like metal. I don't know what the hell that is. It's got a metal head, like a metallic face. Oh, this is creepy. It's all metallic. The reason why I kept repeating that it was metallic, I dropped it on the ground and it bounced. It bounced and bing, 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 just like glass or metal or stone. It was very heavy and I tried to break it and watch it. It'll wake up when I touch it. Check it out. Golden but head. you can see the golden head right there, literally gold. And so was the back. The lighting was, was hard here, but check what happens when I watch it. Watch this. It wakes up. What? <laughs> I got scared. Look. It just started walking around. Very confused. It should have broke. I mean, I'm usually stronger than most bugs. It, you know, it's it's pretty fascinating. And again, it was dead. So I, I thought it was dead. Then I put it in a Ziploc that it kept coming back to life or waking up. Check it out. You could literally see that when I said it was golden, it literally looks like 24 karat gold, you know, or white gold. It literally looks like a golden metallic object so i picked it up and i started squeezing it and it didn't break so i didn't i assumed it wasn't a bug but then i said who the hell is going to buy bug jewelry <laughs> right you can imagine what was going through my head check this out outside legs are probably a little cold people you guys got to remember that uh, you know we're here winter's uh, almost here even though we have the indian summer or it's beautiful now it looks like it was waking up its legs there, but I'm telling you, um, I've never seen that type of bug. I've, I've seen a lot of bugs that uh, shape. It looks like what they feed when you go to the pet shop and buy crickets. It literally looks like a cricket. Watch it take off now. Literally gold color. What the fuck? Fly away now. Hi. Turn around for me. Turn around, give me a... Oh, wow. Oh, my God. I wish I would have stopped that. I hope I got that. So, told it to fly away, and it flew away. No, I'm not saying it. Listen to me. I'm just totally shocked at the color. It was a beautiful color. A scary-looking bug. You heard it leave buzzing, so it's got two wings, like a plane that don't move. Glide, they're gliders, and the other wings move. It really does look like that European gypsy moth that they said has been here for a couple of years, destroying our ash trees, apparently. So what are they doing for that? I can only imagine that they're spraying, spraying crazy pesticides or not. At the end of the video, we're almost there, you're going to see um, an exact 
form and shape of the gypsy moth. But here's where it gets interesting. They're only around in June. They come out in April and they're plentiful in June or July. I think even June, maybe not even July. But we could see, and you will see at the end, it's the exact, well, pretty exact same shape and form. Look, you literally see that it, it looks like a golden earring or something to put on a necklace. It's golden color, the real gold that you see. It looks literally like somebody painted it. Hope not. <laughs> hey, some neighbor paints the bug and it lands on my house and I think it's a, a golden bug. Because in Canada, they have the beetle, the tortoise beetle, that's uh, uh, golden, the same exact color, but not quite actually. And it doesn't look like literal gold. So you can see the glider wings on each side. They stay straight and they don't flap. And these two wings, like fly wings or wings whatever they really flap and you can see as it's taking off it just takes off there ready for flight when i asked it to take off because you know i'm like dr doolittle right and they just nature and ufos listen to me <laughs> it went a coincidence i was lucky to be able to get it so we're going to go see what i found that was as close as this bug but i'm telling you it's not at all the same. The shape is the same, but there's no talk about a golden um, moth, gypsy moth. The European, this would, these would have come from Europe. So even though I'm not an expert in insects like my friend Peter Benton, uh, I always get a lot of opinions from him, but look at this. Just so happens that I saw this image, and that is an image, even though the color's not the same, exactly like the bug eye showed you guys so i didn't know there was a problem here in montreal with a european gypsy moth so what i just showed you the image when i slowed down it was a gypsy moth from europe that is here attacking our ash trees in montreal and in ontario so quebec and ontario are having problems with that so i could only imagine the pesticides that they're spraying and how it can affect us because apparently we're not winning the war against bugs it's humans are the problems so it just so happens, I, like I clicked on the first bug image and you're going to see that that bug's going to bring me to a post from Montreal, okay? Globe and Mail, if I'm not mistaken. But look at the interesting aspects and characteristics of this bug. It is near identical. I'm talking about the body, the size, and uh, the dimensions, characteristics. They have those two wings uh, the green ones are just straight wings like a plane. They don't move. I saw it leave, the one that was here, even though this, what I caught is not the European moth. I wasn't going to post it here. I was going to post it only on the members because this is not space related. But I'm sure with uh, the weather changing and everything going on, you guys will appreciate seeing this type of new bug. Maybe it's a, um, a mixture uh, or a new bug that comes from the European moth, but you may never know. Everyone, thanks for the generous contributions and thanks for watching the videos. Maybe up there on the moon. They may be even coming right here soon. Aliens are bounding on the moon. Yes, they are up there. Doesn't matter because disclosure's coming soon. Disclosure's coming soon. Yeah. <laughs>